Hello, Public Library of Cincinnati and Hamilton County music lovers. What we have for you today is a short tutorial about our new Hoopla streaming digital service. What we're going to talk about is what Hoopla is, what it isn't, how to use it, and maybe even some reasons of why you should use it. So we'll get to that in a second, but let's start with exactly what it is. So, as I stated, it's a streaming service, and along with music, there are audiobooks available, movies, we'll come back to music in a second, and comics, which is a new service. So let's go ahead and get started with using Hoopla Digital. And we're going to start right from the beginning with creating an account. So I'm going to click Log In. New to Hoopla. Yes, right now we're still new. So let's sign up. Choose your library. Obviously, we are going to select the Public Library of Cincinnati and Hamilton County. All you need to sign up is an email address. You're going to create a password and you'll enter your library card number. So make sure you have your library card on hand, ready to go. And then we would click sign up now. But I already have an account, so I'm just going to click log in. All right, so here we are. This is the home page of Hoopla. Let's scroll back down to music. Here, right on the home page, they feature the newest items to our Hoopla collection. So you could look through and see what's new this week. Or I could click Browse All, and you see other groupings of music. Some are by theme, some are by maybe a featured artist, or again, just what's newest to the collection. But we want to search for something. And if you look at the top of the screen, here's our search bar. This is a very, very simple search feature. There's no advanced searching. In fact, you can only really search by artist name or album title. But that's really all you need because it's a very efficient search. And let's say now I want to search for a band called Heatmiser. Let's see if they have anything by them. And as you notice, if I'm typing, I start to get suggestions. So I'm going to type a little more, and I see Heatmiser. So they must have something by them. And yes, they do. They have the album Mike City Sons. So great. And one thing to note about this, one of the reasons that Hoopla is great is, the Public Library of Cincinnati doesn't own this album in physical form, so you could not go to your local library and search the shelves for this item. It's only available through Hoopla. So you get access to many, many more titles with this service. And if I look here, here are the songs and the song titles and their lengths. And I could go ahead and borrow, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'll get back to that in a second. Look at this feature. Here's the share button. And here you could link this to your Facebook or Twitter account. So if you wanted to tell your friends that the library has this great album by Heatmiser, you could click this and share away. And you could let them know that this great service is available to them as well. So that's how you search for titles within the Hoopla website. But one great thing, you can also find them through your library webpage. And I'm not going to go into great detail about searching the library webpage. There are other fantastic tutorials for that in the same place that you found this one. So please feel free to look at those. But I'm just going to do a search for a band called Deaf Heaven. And what I'm looking for is their new album, New Bermuda. Here we go. There it is, New Bermuda. Fantastic. And there it is. It says it's a music CD, but uh-oh, not available. Okay, well, maybe I could request it, put a hold on it. But then I look down here and see there are 15 holds on it. Well, that could be a while before I get that CD, and I really want to listen to it now. Well, let's look down a little further, and I see New Bermuda again. Interesting. And I see Electronic Resource. Made available through Hoopla. Great. Okay, so we know Hoopla has it. And then I see in green, Available. Hoopla titles are always going to be available. If they have it, you don't have to get in line for it. All you have to do is check it out. And I see this link here, instantly available on Hoopla. Great, well let's follow that. Okay, there we go. I'm back on the Hoopla site, and I see New Bermuda. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Borrow. Well, let's go ahead and borrow it. Let's see what happens. Okay, this title is now available under My Titles. Let's go back to the home page and take a look. There it is. There's New Bermuda by Death Heaven, so let's click that. Now, if I wanted to, if I clicked play, I could listen to this from my browser right now. So it's very easy to play once you've checked it out. Let's talk about the borrowing terms, though. You get each item for one week. So now that I've checked out New Bermuda, I get it for seven more days. You can check out 12 albums per month with your Hoopla account. At the end of 30 days, 
you get that refresh, so you get 12 more albums that you can check out. One great thing to remember is there are no late fees possible with Hoopla. Yes, you have them for seven days, but they're automatically taken off your account. So you don't have to worry about turning them back in. That's done for you. One thing to remember is that you can only check out the same CD or same album twice within a 30-day period. So I've checked out this album. I really like it. My seven days is up. I can check it out again, and it'll go through just fine. So now, let's say I've had it for 14 days, so I've checked it out twice. If I wanted to check it out a third time, it would say I couldn't. It would tell me you can only check out one album twice within 30 days. Well, what I could do then is add this to my favorites, which creates a stored bank of my favorite albums. So I can go there later. Once the 30 days is up, it'll be stored there and check it out again. No problem at all. Unlike services where you actually download the files to your computer, you don't do that with Hoopla. You stream them, remember. So in other words, what that means is you can't burn these to a CD. The library owns them just like they own a book you would borrow. You don't get to keep that book, you don't get to keep these files. So you can listen to them, stream them while they're checked out to you, but then they're automatically returned. Another thing that's great about the Hoopla service is that they have mobile apps for your phone or for your tablet. So let's take a look at those. And you can find them from the sign-in page. I don't know if you noticed that before when we were going through this, but here they are. They have an app for Apple devices, Android devices, and Kindle Fire. So I could download them here, or I could go to my favorite app store, search for Hoopla, and download that app for free. Again, totally free. And it's a very streamlined, good-looking app. It's very solid and stable. And I have a couple of screenshots that I want to share with you from an item that I checked out on my Apple device. So the first thing I want to point out to you is when you're looking at the items that you've checked out. Okay, so again, this is a streaming service and I keep saying that it's streaming through the internet, obviously. But what if I'm not going to have the internet connection? What if I want to listen to it, but I'm away from Wi-Fi? If you look at this icon up in the top corner here, you see the cloud with the arrow. If I click this, it would temporarily download the files for this album onto my device. And I could listen to it without an internet connection. It still comes off of your device after the seven days. So again, you don't have to worry about returning it yourself. That's automatically done. But please make sure you take advantage of this offline listening feature that Hoopla offers. And the other thing just to point out, this is what the player looks like. Again, very streamlined, very efficient. Play, skip tracks. You could shuffle between the album you're listening to or your entire collection. You, there's a repeat function. And if I could scroll down, remember this is a screenshot, you would see all the tracks listed. All right. Thank you very much for watching. This has been about the Hoopla streaming digital feature, specifically the music. Remember, if you have any questions, please bring your mobile device or your tablet to any library branch. Staff is always on hand to help you with any questions you have, and I hope you enjoy the new Hoopla streaming digital service from the Public Library of Cincinnati and Hamilton County.